What is going on guys and welcome back to our Washington Capitals B A G M mode here. So we're at the end of November heading into December, my birthday month and Christmas. Uh, we're 12-8-2. We, start, we started off pretty good. Uh, this whole, first two months weren't that great. Again, 12-8-2. We're kind of middle of the road. Uh, but right now is time where we have to put our foot to the pedal. We got to go and we got to uh, win some games early on here because this this team has uh, it's, it has a tendency for going on some losing streaks at the end of the year. So uh, let's make one line change here. It's actually going to be a comment. It's going to be from Ty. He says switch Nachuskin and Bittner. Bittner is a left wing and Nachuskin is a right wing. And I agree with you. I don't know why I had it like that. So we'll go ahead and do it like that. So Paul Bittner, there he is in his correct position. Seven points in his first 22 NHL games. And Nachuskin only having three points. Nachuskin really really went downhill like after we traded for him he had that great year 29 goals 61 points I mean, he's the god he's the savior he's my boy but uh it has really not worked out three points in 22 games maybe make a move uh, i'm not too sure at this point but as of right now teams looking like this we're doing all right i'm uh, not too concerned we got uh, brian elliott and my man julio billa in the cage billa had a pretty decent start to the uh to his nhl career had a couple of victories there but we should get more simulation done and we got a oh man we got a home and home against our rivals here in Long Island that's going to be fun so up against Carolina with the uh well they actually don't have him yet but they uh just acquired Tara Vinen and they got Brian Bickle so uh that's going to make their team a lot better it's not going to be in this GM mode though and we win 3-1 we actually have a home and home against them as well lots of home and homes this month and we take them both there you go 3-2 and a 3-1 one victory let's go for let's see if there's any like top five like franchise players out there i haven't seen a franchise player in a long 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 time ohl uh no 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 i think i've seen one franchise player in gm mode and that was actually the one that we drafted in detroit and that was uh cedric and Corey. so uh kind of strange uh, they're very 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 rare though i think when we got cedric Corey, he was 87 out of the draft like let me know what the best player you guys have got out of the draft is I've seen some players got like 89 overall out of the draft like that's just ridiculous that's like Ovechkin and Crosby type even way better than that 89 out of the draft but uh Cedric Corey was definitely the best player I've ever had in GM mode if you're bored just go watch that Detroit GM mode that was so much fun that was one of my favorite GM modes I've ever done uh I'm actually kind of sad that this is going to be the last GM mode that we're going to have on the uh previous gen we're on a winning streak right now might i add have not lost a game since we started off this episode there you go but this is gonna be the last gm mode on previous gen because i don't think they're gonna be making this for 360 next year for nhl 17 with this gm mode layout so it's gonna be kind of weird to go to the uh the next gen i'm gonna have to get used to it i didn't like next gen at all i'm playing it a little bit it's not that bad i still don't like it but uh i much prefer this this whole layout everything's easy you click one button boom you're at uh, you're at your edit lines right it's just a much easier system. I much prefer it. But but there goes our winning streak, unfortunately. Three, four, five, and we lose eight to three, unfortunately. That sucks. We got a home and home here, though. I'm going to start Brian Elliott in the one game. Oh, man, we're getting tooled. Oh, man. So I'm going to start Brian Elliott in the one game, then I'm going to start Julio Billa in the next game. Probably going to start Julio Billa at home. Uh, but we got uh, destroyed there, six nothing, eight to three. Then we bounce back with a two nothing victory over the San Jose sharks but uh let's go up here against this home and home this is going to be a good series this is going to be a good little battle here so we're on the road let's slow sim them both that's what i do let's go here first period one nothing alexander radulov the russian scores on us all right period number two three to two there you go uh Tomishatov, again that guy just eating us alive oh my god martin edler and king there you go getting some depth scoring there but uh radulov oh my god radulov and Tomishatov. 
Smishtov the Russians. I think Smishtov's Russian. He may not be. I think he's actually a Swede. Uh, oh man, look at this. Devin Shore. We got the uh, we got the depth scoring. Dylan Larkin, the speedster on a power play goal. Ties it up at four. What a hockey game. Come on, guys. We need a big goal here. Zach Parise, I'm looking at you. My boy, Nichuskin. Where are you at? Going into overtime here. Okay, four to four. We have uh, ten more shots than them. Come on. There you go. Sergei Zubov, the other Russian. There you go. Arguably our best player. Sergei Zubov gets a big goal there. Gets his uh, overtime winner. And that is his fourth of the year. There you go. Dwight King with three points. Look at that. What a sniper. Now we're going to put Julio Billa up against them. Up against this game. They pretty much have the exact same record to us. So we can meet these guys in the playoffs. That could be fun. That could be fun. Also, could be a disaster. Uh, let's have a look at our goaltenders. We're going to start Julio Billa here against uh, Alex Radulov, James Reimer, and that Mark Messier guy who we just can't stand here in Washington. Let's go, first period. Three to one. Billa, no, don't do this. Stevens, Pasternak, oh my god. Galchenyuk, okay, come on, guys. Come on, Billa, you got this. You do not like the top left at all. Three goals off in the exact same spot. Three slap shots. Come on, guys. Hold it down here. Second period. 3-3. Three, three. We tie it up. Gino Malkin and Nino Niederreiter. There you go. Right back into this game. Win it for Billa. Win it for Billa. Come on here. 23 shots. The shots are super even. This is a much... It's a very even game. And Zach Parise gets one there from just below the faceoff dot to take the lead. 14 minutes left. He scores. 8 minutes left. Come on. They got away with the shots. But Evgeny Malkin gets his second of the night. Beats James Ryan. They went with the uh, opposite goalie as well on the back-to-back -back nights. Edler with his second goal in as many games. Julio Billa with the victory, baby. And we kick the Islanders out. Get out of there. Don't even worry about it. Parise's got 20 goals already. That's awesome. Out of boy Parise. 20 goals in his first 32 games. That's pretty impressive. Plus, we also have a game here against the New Jersey Devils. And we got to get our revenge against them from the playoffs last year. Crosby, Ocposo. Let's go. First period. 1-0, Evgeny Malkin gets his third goal in two games. Period number two, three to nothing again. Malkin's on a hot streak. Four to one. They do uh, Brian Elliott's shutout, but uh, Vili Poka gets the four to one goal, and that's going to be all she wrote. There you go. Back in the winning column. That is uh, three in a row. We beat the Islanders twice, and then we beat uh, I guess I guess kind of our rivals. I guess you would call the Devils our rivals. Uh, there you go. I do want to slow some of the game against uh, Arizona because we have Ilya Kovalchuk to worry about here. We just got a bunch of drama going on here with Kovalchuk and with Messier, with Crosby. We got a whole bunch of drama with the uh, with the Washington Capitals. But 21-10-2, definitely been a uh, really nice start to this episode. Let's continue with the victories, 9-3. Oh my god. Like, we can win three or four in a row and then we just get stomped and we go on a little bit of a losing streak just like this. See, it just happened. Like, we lose 9-3 and then we lost 4-2. We're probably going to win this game. It's just, we have a, we kind of have a strange squad here and we win see very very weird uh that happened last month though we got tooled like eight to two by calgary and then we lost six to nothing against the canucks so very strange but we are winning games kind of i guess up against montreal pretty much have an identical record to us and we win seven to two put some numbers up there against the habs there you go see there nino niederreiter was a star tonight putting up four points damn right he was there you go nino baby uh when we got him i did not expect him to be like 89 overall within f the first like almost year and a half like that's really crazy he really had a nice jump for us there up against Anaheim and uh, Miku Koivu Connor McDavid will shut these guys down four to one loss it's okay though we've been winning a few games uh Parise 26 goals already and now we got Ilya Kovalchuk to worry about Mario Lemieux let's go first period if Kovalchuk scores I'm gonna be so upset period number two Oh my god, no one wants to give up an inch. Not many shots happening in this whole game. Taylor Hall, as long as it's not, as long as it's not Ilya Kovalchuk, but Malkin comes right back. He's been on a tear lately. Gino's been the star of this episode. He's been so good. Uh, come on here. Five minutes left. Three, two, one. If Kovalchuk scores in overtime, I will be livid. Come on here, guys. You got this. An Oscar cleft bomb. At least it wasn't Kovalchuk. I went into this game hoping Kovalchuk didn't even get a point. Oh no, he did. He did get a point. God damn, Kovalchuk. 
How do you do this to me? Kovalchuk, you bastard. There's really not a whole lot to do here. We're just going to continue with the simulation. I'm uh, going to go ahead and get the scout out there. A couple top tens in the States. We can go ahead and give them a scout for six weeks. But uh, lots of exciting stuff happening in the world of hockey right now. Obviously, Pittsburgh just won the Stanley Cup. We're going to go up against them right now. And they have a not, ten, not that bad of a record. John Tavares, 25 goals. And we win 7-4, to four, baby. There you go. Uh, but they won the Stanley Cup. I knew it was pretty much over. San Jose, they got the, uh, they forced the game six, but uh, just was not enough. They, uh, they eventually lost to Pittsburgh. And Pittsburgh, I mean, they played incredible. Everyone played so well. Uh, Kessel played so well. I, honestly, I thought Kessel or Matt Murray was going to get the Conn Smythe, but kind of surprised when they gave it to Crosby. Not going to lie to you. I was a little bit shocked. But, I mean, that looks good on Sidney Crosby's resume now to have that uh, Conn Smythe. Gino has one. Now he's got one. So uh, he has to have one up to even up the score. But uh, Pittsburgh won the Stanley Cup. We got the draft right around the corner. We got so many exciting things happening in the world of hockey. I'm uh, usually I get pretty upset. I get kind of sad when hockey's over. But this year, there's so many there's so many storylines to follow. Like you got Austin Matthews maybe going to Toronto. Uh, I mean, you got uh, you got Steven Stamkos. Where the hell is he gonna go? Is he gonna go to Toronto? Uh, pretty crazy off season. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, let's have a look here at the All Stars. So Cam Neely, Wayne Gretzky, and Kovalev, Forsberg, Lemieux, McGillney, Stamkos. Coast, Iserman, Marty St. Louis, pretty much all legends. Uh, Kessel, Giroux, Wayne Train, Doughty, Al McKinnis, Klimberg, Carlson, Bufflin, and Del Zotto. And in the cage, Brodeur and Corey Crawford. Let's have a look at the uh, Black All-Stars here. Williams, Crosby, Kane, Ovechkin, Hall, Tyler Sagan, uh, Paul Correa, John Tavares, Maurice Rocket, Richard, Jean Beliveau, Joe Sackett, Corey Perry, or Lidstrom, Sergei Zubov, there is our one All-Star. Uh, maybe Maybe, maybe you're going to see Brian Elliott be in there. No, Kipper and Nabokov. I think Brian Elliott's having a pretty good year, but those goalies are uh, those goalies are unreal. So we're about 12 minutes in. I think I might cut it here. Make this one just a small episode because we're doing really, really good. We're doing well. Uh, can we hit 30 wins up against Stanley Cup champion Pittsburgh Penguins? And we get thumped, actually. We get destroyed. So um, we're at about 12 minutes here. Maybe we'll go one more month just up to the trade deadline. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to go all the way up to the trade deadline, and then we're going to call this one an episode. So I want to get a decent chunk of the sim completed because really there's not much to do. We have our team. We're poised towards to go to the playoffs. Oh, shit, I got to slow some that game. Oh, man, I didn't get it in time, but we do get a victory. There you go. There you go. I actually was uh, too quick there. I didn't even see. Is that the last game of the year against the Islanders? No more. We got one on the 24th of March and then that's going to be us. We only got one more. We only got one more but so far I don't think we've lost to the Islanders so that's that's always good. That makes me happy. Uh, we're going to go up to the trade deadline though or just to the month prior to it and we're going to kind of see what we need to do if anything to make a move. We are going to have a look at the stats though really quickly. Uh, I don't think we need to make any line changes or make a trade. Maybe something for our third line but I think we're, uh, I think we're pretty much poised to go for deep in the playoffs. Honestly Honestly, I thought that last year, but uh, you obviously know what happened there. So Malkin, 59 points in 49 games. He has taken a hold of this team. There you go, Gino, baby. Sergei Zubov as well, uh, 50 points in 49 games. Zach Parise doing great as well. Uh, Jonathan Druen's really picked it up. Nino's picked it up. Everyone's playing great right now. Vili Poca, 27 points. Look at Alex Edler. There you go. Uh, Paul Bittner, how is Nachuskin doing? Seven points. Something's got to happen with that third line. Julio Billa, 8-3. There you go. at a kid. And as for Brian Elliott, yeah, no way he's going to be an all-star. What am I thinking? Uh, but still... 23 and 12. That's a pretty decent record. One shutout for the both of them. People are kind of questioning me signing Brian Elliott. And the thing is, Elliott's a good goalie. He can get the job done. He's not going to be someone you're going to want to keep on your team for three or four years. Obviously, that's why he's only going to be here for the one year until the young kid takes over, my man Julio Billa. Billa's going to be good. I have a good feeling about Julio Billa. I mean, eight and three this year, you can't really complain about that. He's uh, he's doing really, really well. Uh, seven to six victory there up against the St. 
Louis Blues. I do want to apologize for this video though. There's going to be a lot of cuts. I just got over being sick, as you can kind of tell in my voice. I actually wasn't going to record a GM today, but I got a tweet that says, yo, where's the GM been? So I thought I would power through my uh, stupid cold and we would get a GM done. But uh, that's why I hasn't been a GM for a few days. I've been really sick. But we are back and we're ready to go up against Pittsburgh once again. I feel like we're playing Pittsburgh like every other game. And another victory in the books. Parise got a goal there. 31 goals and Zuboff has 50 assists. There you go. But this has been a great couple of months. This has been a really nice episode. We have really uh, put it together here in uh, in this episode. I feel like we're going to be a deep playoff team this year. I know I said that last year. Uh, just go ahead and put our scout out one more time. But I think this is the year. We got Riddick and Kovalchuk. I think that was a big problem. We needed our big guns to produce and he just was not there. There was nothing I could do to get that guy to score. I could put him on every line and nothing would happen. That guy was just worthless. He was awful. I'm so glad we got rid of him. So, so glad. First period up against San Jose. one nothing. Valerie Nachuskin, my boy. Don't do this to me, man. I feel like I have to trade you, but when you come through and you score for me, hits me in the soft spot, man. You're my boy, Nachuskin. Period number two. one nothing, And we end up shutting them out. Zach Parise and Matt Martin score on Ben Bishop. And uh, who's in net? Was it Julio Billa who got the shutout? Uh, it was Julio Billa. 28 saves for his second career NHL shutout. a boy. a boy. What a guy. That's actually back-to-back -back shutouts. Uh, hopefully, they're both for Julio Billa. That'd be kind of cool. We actually have a trade. Uh, the New York Islanders acquired Jason Zucker for a uh, couple of prospects, I guess. Where are we in the standings? I feel like we're one of the best teams in the NHL. Uh, holy crap, look at Arizona and Ilya Kovalchuk. 86 points, and we have 77. So we're actually not even close. There's a lot of teams who have a lot of points this year. So uh, 77 points. We're doing pretty good. I'm feeling pretty confident. Uh, New York Islanders are right behind us. 69 points. Uh, assists were number one. Goals were number six which is nice with uh, 34 goals for Zach Parise. Assists were number one which is awesome. Uh, what I don't see is Ilya Kovalchuk up there which makes me happy. Uh, wins we are uh, number three with Brian Elliott. Goals against and stuff were not up there. Uh, one last check at the stats after we got that one more month completed. Uh, 37, 19, and 3 definitely not a bad record. We really turned it around after starting so-so. It wasn't terrible but we definitely turned it around and I'm feeling confident as much as I can say I'm feeling confident it doesn't matter until we prove it in the playoffs and Gino Malkin has proven it baby 67 points there you go have a look here everyone's doing pretty decent I don't really have a complaint Ty Ratty looking really nice there 42 points Galchenyuk 40 points a lot of players putting up some numbers this year that's awesome but it, oh man what are we gonna do with that guy I think we're pretty much ready to go towards the playoffs I don't really want to make a trade um, 9 and 4 for Julio Billa. I think we're just ready to go. I may just skip over the trade deadline. I'll entertain offers but honestly I feel like we're ready to go. Let me know in the comments if you think we should make a move. If any I don't see it. I think we're ready to go. I think I've built this team enough to where we can do some damage in the postseason. Here is all the lines. Obviously, Parisi's back up to a 90. He dropped down to an 89, but he's back up to a 90. And uh, there is everything. Zubov, Vilipoka, Edler, Noah Hannafin. You can see everyone there. And then Elliot and Julio Billa in the cage. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.